and the disassembly of the Japanese Arisaka bolt assembly. As with any firearm, you're going to make sure that it is empty for safety purposes, of course. Visually inspect it, physically inspect it, there's no bullet. Alright, now with your bolt pulled back, you're going to pull on the bolt catch here. And while you pull on that, you're going to pull the bolt straight out. Alright, now you're going to put the rifle off to the side. And right back here is the safety. You're going to push this in. And then turn it clockwise. And it's going to come right off. Nice and easy. Set that down to the side. Tip it back. And out comes the firing pin. Inside the firing pin is the spring. So far pretty easy. Now, the extractor here, this is the part that I had the most difficulty with initially. You're going to turn it counterclockwise so that it lines up with the area where this groove ends. And now you can see the groove kind of ends there if my camera will focus. Alright, you're going to line it up right there. And now, right in here, there's a little notch. And on the ring here, well, you'll see the guy that goes up here and holds it on the notch. Now you're going to push down right here, where it conflicts, and then push straight forward. You see how it just kind of snapped off the top there? And there you go. So you can see where that notch goes in. And that's it. Now to get back on, it's a little bit more of a pain in the butt. You're going to line that notch right back up. And now to get it back on, you're just going to have to push down pretty hard on this. Push down and back. Get it back into that notch. And turn it. Now you want it to line up right over top of this guy here so that it'll go back into your rifle or carbine now spring goes back in the firing pin firing pin will go back into the bolt assembly now it's very important to make sure that this notch right here goes over this not here the shorter one See. Now kind of the biggest pain in the butt is just getting this guy back in here. You're going to push down until it goes all the way down. Right there. And then turn it counterclockwise until it comes out. And that should be it. Now you take your carbine or rifle depending on which model you have. Line it back up. And that's in. Now in mine I gotta put this down on the uh the magazine follower here, just so it'll go back in. And then check for functionality. There we go.